Tonight, an expensive Laguna Niguel neighborhood still smoldering after the coastal fire fueled by dry vegetation and strong winds destroyed 20 multi-million dollar ocean view properties. This is a lively neighborhood where my kids grew up and they, when we drive by with, when they were kids, they would just say hello to everybody and now we see a lot of them lost their homes completely. <laughs> Fire officials today confirming 900 residents were evacuated, adding two firefighters were hurt but have since left the hospital. We are very fortunate. It is not more homes and we have no loss of life, uh, which is fantastic and in our mind is a success. The fire started small Wednesday afternoon but quickly scaled the hillside and into the neighborhood. In the firefighting world, uh, some of the things that we look at are what impacts or what drives uh, a fire is the fuels, the topography and the weather. And when all three of those come in alignment like we had yesterday, we have the devastation that we see today. For the families who call these houses home, a bittersweet return today when the evacuation orders were lifted. Once I'm able to, I think, walk inside the rubble and see it, like, probably get more intense emotions. But being putting things in perspective, fortunately, everyone is safe and sound. Some residents luckier than others. It's gone, you know, but we're standing, we're thankful that we had it for the years that we had it. We know that God has told us this isn't our eternal home, so we're fine and we know that beauty will come out of ashes. Tonight, with the fire 15% contained, firefighters from LA, Riverside, San Diego, and Cal Fire glad they could get it under control, but are still on scene mopping up the destruction.